Hi you guys and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a comparison against the Alter Ego Aurora New Palette versus the Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette. Do you want to see the difference, how I created this look, and what my final thoughts are versus a 16 versus a $65 palette? Stay tuned. Okay, you guys. So again, I just did this comparison with the Alter Ego Aurora palette versus the Natasha Denona Sunrise palette. I'm gonna go over both these palettes for you and then I will show you how I created this look, but I will be telling you my honest opinion between the two palettes. Is this one the same, like a dupe exactly for a $65 palette? Did they cut it short? What, ha what are my thoughts? You will soon find out. So let's get this started. How this all came about is I actually purchased a different palette from Alter Ego and I want to compare it to the, the Huda New Nudes, I think it's called, palette that I have. And I did a try on with that one and a lot of you guys said you would love to have it, but it's not in your budget for the price point. So when I found out that Alter Ego has that palette duped, for $18, I went to their website and I bought it so I can do an actual comparison. So if you guys really wanted the Huda palette, then you know if you can get just the $18 palette, if it would be the same like as in comparison to save you guys money. So I placed my order, I emailed the company and I asked if they had any type of a discount code that I can pass along to you guys. And they actually were kind enough to make one with my channel name. So you can use She Crafty to get 10% off your order on Alter Ego if you like this palette and you want to get it. So anyway, in doing so with them giving me my code, they said they would like me to try out some products in the future. I was like, cool, no problem, I would love to. So I got an email saying, you have an order coming. I'm so excited to send you the Aurora palette that is just now launching. And I was like, okay, what is that a dupe bug? And they, she said, the Natasha Denona Sunrise. I'm like, oh, I don't have that one. Let me see if I can find it on sale, which I couldn't. Even though there's Black Friday deals, there's all kinds of deals going on, I could not find this palette anything cheaper than $65. So my mom was kind enough to purchase that for me for Christmas. So thank you so much, mom, for getting me a Natasha Denona palette. Never did I think I would ever own a Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette. And now I do. So I'm gonna go over them, I'm gonna unbox them, I'm going to swatch them side by side, color for color, so you can see, is this a real dupe? Is it good? Is it not as good? That kind of thing. So, first thing that I do wanna say is, this is how my Natasha Denona palette came. It came in this box, it says Sunrise Palette, and I'm like, okay, and I ordered this from Sephora. Well, my mom paid for it, but it came from Sephora. <laughs> so once you open it up, I've never seen a palette come like this before. You open it up and it's like this. And then it's, I know it's gonna be crinkling, I'll get it, but it comes in this. I'm like, that is awesome. It's so protected. And then this is what the outside packaging looks like. Nice and shiny with the name on it only. Then on the back of it, it has the colors and that stuff. So when you compare it to the Alter Ego Aurora palette, this is how their packaging comes. Very, very pretty. I do like that, the artwork on there. And then when you hold them side by side, there's just a slight difference. And you can see the shininess around. There's just a slight difference in size comparison. Pretty much the same size, just the, the Natasha Denona palette is slightly larger more wider than it is taller because the height is only a little tiny bit. So when you open them up, oh, and I do have to say, I wish more companies would put this little pull tab here because this makes it so easy to get packages open. I'm like, why don't more people do this? So here's the outside, just like the packaging, just not as shiny, shiny. And then the back is just like this. There's no colors or anything on the back of him. Then when you open the Ultra Ego, and this looks just like the packaging as well. And it just says Aurora, really nice and big. This one does have the colors on the back of the palette though. And then when you open them up, this one has a sheet protector, a sheet protector, <laughs> has a palette protector, I guess. It does have a nice large mirror right on the top. And then the Natasha Denona, <laughs> there is no sheet protector. And it does have a larger mirror. The mirror comparison is larger, but honestly, you guys, I never, see, 
This one has more of a border to it where this one's almost the entire lid. Um, I never even really use the mirrors on here to be quite honest. And oh, hello sunrise. <laughs> it's a very nice clear mirror. That is a nice mirror. <laughs> yeah, but I still see it. Okay, so when you look at the colors side by side, they obviously, okay, so here's the Natasha Denona palette. And then here is the Alter Ego palette. When you do side-by-side -side comparison, the, the actual colors are not in the same order. They're not named the same, obviously. So it took me a minute to kind of figure out which color is for which one to compare the two. And quite honestly, what I did notice when I said in the beginning that the two colors look different. Um, okay, so here, right here is the sunrise from Alter Ego, which matches morning, which is right there. So if I put them side by side, if you can kind of, you can't really see much in the pan, but this one looks like it is a darker color. It looks more of like a mustardy colored in there when this one has more of like a, I don't know, more of an ivory type of a color. This one just looks a little bit darker. And then the yellows, this is the sunburst and this is, um, Crytine. I'm not sure how you say that. So this is Ultra Ego. Can I, does this fold back? Yeah. Okay. So if I can put these two back to back, the one from the, the Ultra Ego palette is an actual brighter yellow than the Natasha Denona. Everything else pretty much when you look comparison side by side, the colors look almost spot on. They look exactly the same. So it was very easy for me to kind of find which color matches which with which one, but I just had to find it because they're not in the same order. So when I do this try on, I tell you which colors I'm using side by side. I use my nifty difty, nifty difty. <laughs> What's a nifty difty? <laughs> I use my little nifty um, color swatch and I use the same brush for each one, the same color for each side. This side is my Natasha Denona side. This side is my alter ego side. So I don't know if you guys can tell a difference, but you can't really see a difference. Natasha Denona, alter ego. Do you guys see a difference in the colors? Now, when I'm putting them on, I do have to tell you the Natasha Denona put that pigment on within the first swipe. Like I would go in a second time just to darken it up for my own because I'm so used to doing multiple <laughs> passes but the Natasha Denona I could have probably easily did one one little whoop de whoop in it and put it on and been fine where some of the colors from Alter Ego I had to build up and like I said <laughs> if you build it it will come and it did it just took a little bit of building but it came up with the same pretty much color now the only other difference that I saw is on the Natasha Denona, I use little glory over here. Glory, glory, hallelujah. And that matches up with little Nova over here. Nova, to me, is more of a magenta, which that's on this side. It, it became more of a magenta color where the um, Natasha Denona was more of a deeper, almost more of like a plumish, I always say plumish, a plum or a purplish color in it. So this side I can see from the Natasha Denona that that color is more of a deeper color where this is more of a magenta, it's more of a brighter color. But other than that, you can't really see the difference when you're looking side by side. I can just see that this one has a different darker color to it where this one is more of a lighter, brighter color. If that even makes sense, it makes sense in my head anyway. So other than that, I honestly really couldn't see too much of a difference while I was putting them together. I haven't swatched them side by side, but now I will. So I'm gonna start with each row. I'm gonna do the top row, the middle row, and then the bottom row of the Natasha Denona, and then I'll match it up to the Aurora as we go. So I will do one row, then I'll clean my arm, do another row, clean my arm, do another row, so you can see the difference between the two swatches. And when I do it, I will do Natasha Denona first, then Alter Ego. Natasha, Alter Ego, like that. So 
I'm going to go ahead and get my hands into the first row. So hold on. Okay, so here's the first swipe. And to be fair, I did one ch -ch 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 and one pff, one ch -ch -ch and one pff. I didn't want to go in and build either one of them just to show you the difference between one swipe wonder. So let me show you the difference. So here's the first one. So here's um, Natasha Denona versus Alter Ego. Those are pretty much neck on neck. Then here is the yellow. This one did blend and got thicker where this one started out and then went me. So this one is not as pigmented on the one swipe and that's one of the problems that I had with the building, but it came. <laughs> then here's this one. This is the, um, this one I did not put on my eyes, but so this is the one in comparison. So that's a pretty much big difference between how much pigment and color I got on this color versus the Ultra Ego. And then this one is Natasha Denona versus, it's right here next to it. I don't know what happened with those two colors, but these two did pretty much the same. And then the last two did pretty well. Just this one started off good and then it ended with a little But again, they're, the color scheme between them are pretty much the same. Okay guys, so for the second row, here's this. Now this color looks slightly darker than this one, but other than that, these work exactly the same pretty much. Here's the one from Natasha Denona that I was telling you, looks more of like a burgundy plum where this one was more of a brighter magenta. And you can kind of see the difference here based on the colors. This is just a deeper color and this is a little bit brighter. That's what I was trying to explain. These two pretty much almost exactly the same. These two were almost exactly the same. This looks maybe a slight hair lighter, but if you were to add another swipe, I bet you would be exactly the same color. And just to see if I'm right, once you add that second color, see it's pretty much, pretty much now the same. And then there's these two that were pretty much spot on exactly the same color as well. Okay hey guys, for the third row, here's this. Now, for the first time, Natasha Denona did a burp and Alter Ego went down a little bit farther. The two colors together, side by side, the Alter Ego looks a little bit lighter, but pretty much the same color. Then the, the orange color, Natasha Denona is a deeper orange than this one. But again, that one you have to build up. So if I were to take Soul and go in a few more times, Now it's almost the same color. You just have to build it up a little bit, which is perfectly fine. And I'm used to doing it for a lot of palettes. And then these two colors are pretty much the same. And then these two colors are pretty much the same. This one looks slightly lighter. And then this one, the Alter Ego was way creamier and it just kept on, I could have kept on going down my arm and round and around if I wanted to for that particular color. So here is the third row in comparison. Again, Natasha Denona is the first. Alter Ego, Natasha, Alter Ego. Dur, 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 dur. So that is the entire palette. My final thoughts are these are pretty damn well near the same kind of palette. I mean, there's a few slight differences when it comes to the color, the way that it blends, the way that it builds up, or the actual pigment color. But other than that, they're pretty much the same. Like I said, there was only like two that I noticed a huge difference and it wasn't a huge difference, but it was enough difference where I had to build up a little bit or I can see cause like the orange isn't as bright, but I had to keep adding and adding. And then with that one color that was more of magenta versus like a burgundy and I had to keep adding, but they, the way that they performed at the end, they look like I almost use the same palette to do my face or my eyes. <laughs> so, what do you guys think? Do you guys see a difference in the colors? Because once I put them on, and even though the Ultra Ego, I might've had to do like one or two or three more swipes depending on the color and what I was trying to achieve. But I think the final outcome, they're pretty much similar. Yes, Natasha Denona's are a little more creamier, a little bit more pigmented, and you can get a lot more done with one swipe wonder than to build up. But there's a huge price difference, $16 versus $65. And you can use my code SheCrafty to save 10% off to do this eye here.
Now, I do greatly appreciate Alter Ego for sending me this palette to review. So thank you so much, Alter Ego, for sending me this. I was so excited to do this video. I've never done a comparison of like, a main like expensive line versus a more affordable line that's like the same. I've never done that and I was so excited to sit down with you guys today and do this video. The next one I will be doing would be the other palette against my Huda Beauty palette, which is this Daydream palette right here. So this one I'll probably try to get done in the next week or so. I just, you guys know, I only have Sundays off to sit down and actually do stuff like this. So with only four days out of the entire month, I'm kind of limited when I have several palettes that I'm still, still trying to do for you guys. But I definitely will do that because I really, really like doing this with the comparison between the two different palettes. So look out for that one in the near future that I'll be able to do that comparison on. I'm actually kind of excited on how my eye look looked. I've never used yellows or oranges or anything like that. So I'm actually kind of proud of myself for <laughs> not just using just the burgundy colors in this palette and calling it a day like I really wanted to do. <laughs> So you guys comment down below, let me know what were your thoughts? Do you think that they came out exactly the same? Do you feel that it's it's worth it just to pay the $65? Again, I didn't pay for any of these. One was a Christmas gift and one was sent to me for review. So thank you so much, mom. And thank you so much, Alter Ego, because I was able to sit down and do this video that I was so excited to do for you guys because of them. Um, I never would have probably got a Natasha Denona palette if it wasn't for Alter Ego sending me their new Aurora palette. So again, I will link them both down below. You can check out both sites if you would like, but if you do purchase anything from Alter Ego, then definitely use my code SheCrafty to save that 10% off. They even have lashes that I believe are launching soon or just launched. Um, there's other palettes there, so take a look at their site if you would like. And yeah, so if you wanna see how I created this look, then here you go. Okay, so from the Natasha Denona palette, that's gonna be this side right here. And that one I used morning first and put over my entire lid. The color that I match it up with is Shine from the Ultra Ego palette, and that's on this side. So both colors, same color so far. They both had the same amount of pickup. They both look like they're giving me the same amount of coverage with about the same color. <laughs> Since this is the Sunrise palette, I'm gonna try to do kind of like a sunrise and I'm gonna do yellows even though I don't think I've ever done yellows, but I'm gonna start with like the yellow, the orange to the burgundy. I'm gonna try that. So let's see, let's see how this is going to work. And I also have my color switch here that I'm doing in between colors. So I can take the color out of one brush and use the same brush to apply the same color from each palette on each eye. So just so you know trying to figure out what kind of brush I would use to get in the small little crack of my crevices. I don't do brush, proper brush protocol, <laughs> I guess. I do whatever Tracy feels like grabbing. <laughs> So I use, I think it's called Citrine on this side and Sunburst on this side. Now I'm gonna go in with Carnelian on this side and Soul on this side, which is more of like an orange or yellow color. Definitely an orange.
I'm gonna go in with Morgan and kind of do this on top. It's like a peachish color. Which that Morgan matches up to Star from Alter Ego. Okay, so this is this one is definitely not as pigmented because I'm having to go in several times, but the other one I only went in twice. Well, the first one is all I really needed. And this one still is darker. Let me go in again. So a little building. It took a little bit more to build. I still don't think it's as, as like the same dark pigmented color. Well, here, let me see. Maybe now that it's added a little bit more. This one still looks a little bit brighter to me, but it's almost there. It's pretty much there now. I just had, took a while to build. I'm gonna go back into morning on this side just to kind of blend this out a little bit here. I'm gonna add a little bit of a gate as well to kind of go under my lower brow. Now buff that with the morning. Okay, so then on the Ultra Ego side, I'm going to go back in with the shine, but then I'm going to add, it would be Brilliance, which would match up to the Agate. Since they're kind of out of order, I have to try to figure out which color is which, and they're obviously different names. So there's the balance and is it star? Yes, balance. And then now here's star to kind of blend that out. So far, they, they're still pretty much neck on neck. There's only just that one color or yeah, just that one color so far. So far, I'm gonna have a safari on my face, I feel like. <laughs> okay, so now let's get into some of this burgundy. All right, so I'm going to start with glory on the natasha denona which would match up to nova on aurora okay so now Nova. This is another one that I'm obviously gonna have to keep building up because the Natasha Don the Natasha Denona went in, whoosh, the color was there. So Nova, I'm having to go in just a little bit, but as long as you build it, as long as you build it, it will come. <laughs> huh. All right, let's build it, you guys. it's coming <laughs> it's coming if you build it it will come not as dark or bright it's a little bit of a different color but it's getting there And I noticed this one, like now my orange and yellow is kind of missing. So let me go back in. Where's that brush I use for those? So now that I put the color back in there, this one I didn't have to, it still stayed nice and tight. Um, I still don't think this color is like 
getting there as much. I think it's just like the pigment is a little different. So I'm not going to achieve that darker, more of like a burgundy color that this one has. If you can see the difference so far. Let's go ahead and go in now with, I'm gonna go in with Clove on this side and Twilight on this side. Then Twilight over here. All right, so I'm gonna take in a little bit of this poppy from Natasha and just try to pat it on here just to give it a little shimmy, 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 shimmy shine. Which would be cosmic on this side. in with a little bit of Laurel versus Stellar and I'm gonna try, try to use that as a highlighter. Okay, you guys, so there is my completed look. What do you think? Is it like a tropical sunshine? That's what I was going for. <laughs> Can you see the difference? So Natasha Denona, alter ego. Okay, you guys, so that is exactly how I created this look from both palettes on um, both eyes. And again, I'm so excited to do this video. It was so much fun. I really hope you guys enjoyed it because now I'm looking so much forward to doing the other one with their other palette versus the Huda palette. So if you guys want to see that, then stay tuned because that'll soon be coming because this was so much fun. I really did enjoy this. So let me know all of your thoughts down below. What did you think of each palette side by side? $65 versus $16. What do you guys think? Your positive interaction means the world and I greatly do appreciate it. I'm so glad I was able to do this for you guys and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed doing this for you. So thank you so much again for everybody. And if you're not already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then you'll see the different videos that I will load for you guys. And until next time, you know that drill. Keep a smile on that gorgeous face of yours and I will see you on the next one.